refrigerant recovery prepping a tank for a brand new recovery it's never been used before so i have the micron gauge on here right here and it's hooked up this is the testo and uh there you go focus that's the testo number and i have it on the testo app on my phone and i could read that it's 39 microns inside the tank so I'm recovering from the one side. This is the vapor side, so it's recovering from the top of the tank. The liquid side actually has a tube that goes all the way to the bottom of the tank. So it reads from way down here and it's reading 39 microns. So that is ready to use as a recovery tank now. All the air is out of it. The moisture has been removed, so it's ready for use. That's it, really simple. When you get a brand new tank, just don't bleed out the air and use it and just don't put it on a quick vacuum, put it on a good deep vacuum and remove as much moisture as you can from this recovery tank, because this is gonna be a recovery tank that you'll probably use for the next 20 years. Uh, I have tanks that are 30 years old and well, shouldn't say never been checked, but never been checked, no reason to. Uh, they've always been clean. All right, guys, I'll see you, that's it. Just vacuum through a tank, measure it, Make sure it's way down there below 100 microns, good to go.